Welcome back. So today I wanted to show you guys how I revived my two-year-old synthetic wig. This wig was mad tangled, knotted. It was a mess. Um, I wore it and I only wore it twice, which got me tight because I bought it for my 19th birthday. Ta -da! Happy birthday, bitch. <laughs> Leo gang, you already know what's up. You already know what's up. But, um, yeah, no, after the third time I wore it, um, knotted, tangled, stopped fucking with it, and then, um, it's quarantine time, I don't have my hair done, like, so I'm like, why not? I'm bored. So, I'm gonna show you guys how I revived it, um, and yeah. Next! So the first thing I did was boil water. Um, I like to have the hottest water that I can so I can bun up the hair. Um, <laughs> the hotter the better basically. So then I filled up a bucket of water with the hot water from the pipe. And next I took the water from the kettle and poured it onto the wig. And I let the wig sit in that for about an hour to three hours whenever I remember to go get it. <laughs> but yeah, I just let that sit and let the water bun up the hair. Good job. Deuces. And now we wait. After I remember to go get the wig, I let it I let it dry for the night in the bathroom and I let it air dry it and blow dry it. Um, so as you can see in this video, I'm straightening out the hair with my straightener. It has like brushes on it, which I really like to straighten hair with it. Um, I didn't straighten it out too much because I was gonna curl it up again anyway, so having curls in it didn't really matter to me, but I'm mostly burning the ends to see if I can revive the ends. And if I can't revive it, I'm probably just gonna cut it, which I did, you're gonna see in a minute. So usually when I cut hair, I like do it in sections, but I was kind of in a hurry because I had to go run some errands. So I kind of just, I just did it the hurry way, but um, I don't recommend you do it this way because you will get, you the hair will be uneven if you do it the way I did it. Um, and I knew it was going to turn out this way, but I kind of didn't care. But um. Now, as you can see, I cut the hair and it was a lot shorter than I wanted it to be because again, I cut it wrong, but um, it turned into a bob, which I didn't really mind. And right now I'm Curling it with my flat iron. The way I curl hair is I start from the root or as close as the root as I can, and then I flip the curling iron, curling iron. I flip the flat iron towards me and pull the hair 
that was flipped and hold on to it and I slide the curling curling. I slide the flat iron down a little bit and then twist it again and I keep doing that until I reach the end and once I reach the end I kind of hold it for about five to ten seconds and then I let go but I catch the hair and then I hold it well not hold it but I kind of juggle it a little bit and then secure it on the side with the rest of the curls so it doesn't get in my way usually um, after I finish curling a piece of the hair I usually pin it so the curl stays intact but again sis was in a hurry so I didn't really care so I just put it to the side with the rest of the curls and yeah And this is the finished look. So I accidentally cut it too much. Um, so I didn't, I didn't intend for this to be a bob. It just turned it into a bob. Um, <laughs> so like when I was cutting it, I was cutting it. Usually when I cut like hair, I do it professionally. Get a comb, hold it, and then you snip. Right? No. Kimono was in a hurry, so I kind of just held it together and cut it, and then it turned into an asymmetrical bob. Um, the asymmetry was worse than this. This was actually a little bit longer, but I cut it a little. But I cut it a little bit to to like make it a little more like it's asymmetrical, but it's not asymmetrical because this piece was like. Set. Um, it was like a little bit longer touching my teeth, but um, you know, even though it didn't turn out the way I wanted to, because I, I didn't want a bob, but I've had a bob in like 10 years, so it's whatever. So, I hope you guys learned something today. Don't hold your, don't hold your hair and cut it, because you're going to get something you don't want, but um, it turned out very, very nice for a two-year-old wig. Um, and yeah, I'm happy how it came out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you guys are staying safe. And I hope your families are well. And I will see you next time.